Well, groundbreaking long-term research on coral in Kaneohe Bay could unleash valuable insight into corals. Our Eric Nacton has details on what was discovered. Facing rising challenges, including global warming, it's widely believed coral reefs keep life on Earth, our oceans, and our planet healthy. They provide food and habitat for about 25% of the world's fishes. They also can help buffer shorelines against 97% of the energy from waves, storms, and floods, helping prevent loss of life, property damage, and erosion, a growing problem in the state of Hawaii. Over a 10-year stretch, researchers from Penn studied coral species in Hawaii to better understand their adaptability to the effects of climate change. The study largely focused on bleaching, which occurs when corals are stressed by changes in conditions, including temperature and light. One species of coral, Paritis uh, compressa, which is the finger coral here in Hawaii, uh, that coral uh, showed an adaptation, I guess, to the heat stress that it had experienced. So Hawaii now has experienced three major back-to-back -back bleaching events, the first one in 2014, the second one in 2015, and again in 2019. And so what we found during the third bleaching event uh, to hit these corals was that the corals had somehow acclimatized to the heat stress and were not showing the same bleaching phenotype. Uh, and we we further showed this in um, some short term heat stress assays as well that the corals that uh, didn't bleach during the heat wave continued to maintain that acclimatization. Other types of coral had a different response. What's concerning me is on the other hand, we have the rice coral, Montipora capitata, which is actually showing the opposite response. So half of the coral, so we tagged both bleaching susceptible and bleaching resistant. We see corals that maintain that bleaching resistant across those heat waves, but the bleaching susceptible corals are continuing to bleach and they're actually now bleaching without heat stress. It's a combination of positive and negative results. We're encouraged by the results that we were seeing that some of these species are able to acclimatize to this heat stress over time. Again, we're discouraged that we're still seeing this um, physiological signature of stress that is uh, precipitating across half of the species. Uh, what this means for the reefs here in Hawaii is that our reefs are actually, um, we're seeing these gaping holes where their corals used to be. So these heat stress events are, are creating mortality of the coral species. Obviously, we know that people rely really heavily on these reefs for fisheries, coastal protection, that kind of thing. The research study is largely considered a victory. The study is really great because it shows that some species of corals do have the ability to recover and we can understand from that particular species. So in, in this case, it's the finger coral, that's okay. Um, why that is, and then maybe we can apply those lessons to other types of corals in, in terms of managing them. Many experts feel getting to zero carbon emissions remains essential for the survival of coral reefs into the future. Eric Nacton, Island News.